my goobies coming at you live just kidding this is a recording with little pixel pikachu who looks like he's wearing a cute little top hat <laughs> what's poppin you guys i hope you guys are doing super duper copa tropa also pound cake says hello he misses you guys a bunch uh <laughs> He's super cute. How could you not love his little face? <laughs> he actually has his own Instagram now. He's got over 150 followers, which is, you know, kind of a big deal. I rarely even plug my own Instagram, but I will gladly self-promote my goldfish. Just saying. So today, my goobies, we're going to be opening three of some of the best Pokemon products I think have come around, in my opinion, in a very long, long, let me long time. <laughs> it looks like I'm eating a hot dog right now. Like, what's up, homies? <laughs> no, but these things are actually incredible. It comes with a solid pack of cards that are viable cards you'll actually play in decks. We're gonna check some of them out. And not to mention a bunch of cool alternate artwork cards, which I mean, alternate artworks just make every card like a hundred times cooler. So, I mean, there you go. <laughs> So we're gonna check out three of these bad boys today. We're gonna see if we can pull anything super spicy out of our couple of packs. So we're gonna open and I'm just gonna walk you through some of the cards that come in this bad boy. So let's do it, my goobies! Alright, let's unwrap this baby. You guys notice? Switched up my play mat. Thought I'd spice up my life a little bit. Yep. That's my idea. Spicing up my life. So check this out. This looks like the box, right? But but then it's like, oh, it's just a sleeve on top of the box. This is the box. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a race car. Like, look at this thing. Why is this so sleek? I feel like I just upgraded, you know? Like, I'm an adult that plays Pokemon, and I feel like less of a child opening this product. <laughs> I don't know why, it just feels so like sophisticated to me. <laughs> Maybe because it's not some like rainbow, super cute, like Pokemon themed thing. It's just like, ah yes, so sleek, so fresh. Uh, I mean, that actually looks pretty subpar. <laughs> If I'm if I'm being real, like the display of this, they're like, all right, we're just gonna toss these in here, just throw that on top. You know, this is this is just a a brick of energy right here. Man, you could you could knock someone out with this bad boy. <laughs> so we got our Deathly Block Energy right here. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of these dice. Oh man, it doesn't really do it justice in the camera, but this is like a cute translucent, and maybe, let me see if I can take it out. Okay, you can kind of see it a little bit better. It's like a translucent grayish black dice. It looks much more black than in the camera. Uh, and then it has like rainbow glitters inside. It's like a cute rainbow glitter unicorn. <laughs> I like it, okay? Some people think it's a little bit feminine, but I think it's just super cool. So, one of the only Pokemon products you'll see that actually come with valuable packs uh, inside. <laughs> Which is one of the reasons why this box is such a steal because, well, this one alone is selling for $7 a pack now, uh, which is kind of bananas, but makes sense. And then uh, two Rebel Clash packs, which is the newest set, and a base set Sword and Shield. So, all of these are post-rotation packs, which means you can use all of these cards after rotation in August, which I think is why they included these and didn't include any old packs, which is awesome. I really love that Pokemon is focusing on more products that will help people uh, build decks and actually play the game because it is so much fun and I, I, I try to do my part converting collectors into players. Uh, let me know if I converted you guys into playing <laughs> Pokemon. Cause I, I just, I love it. I think it's, it's awesome. I love the game and I love sharing that passion with you guys. Cause I think it's bomb and I think everyone should play that collects cards as well. So might as well, if you're already collecting the cards, might as well play, you know? <laughs> So this is a little booklet that I assume explains what the cards in the packs uh, actually do. 
Uh, it also comes with some sleeves here. These sleeves do not be fooled. They look super beautiful and gorgeous and awesome, but they are absolute trash. The quality of these sleeves are the worst quality, worse than ETB sleeves. I mean, just look at it. It's already, it's already wobbly. That's so bad, dude. This is so... I disapprove of these sleeves. I mean, I never use the ETB sleeves unless I'm putting stuff in my binder anyway, but you know, for something that they're trying to gear people toward playing the game and actually sleeving up a deck, like you'd think that they would give you some nice sleeves. <laughs> but no, still very poor quality sleeves. <laughs> so you also get a code card with this box, which I'm so happy about because everything that's in the box, it gives you in the online game, which is bombdiggityjunior.com. And speaking of code cards, shout out to our sponsor, Potown Store. Thank you so much for being my sponsor. <laughs> Potown <laughs> exclusively sells Pokemon online code cards that you can redeem into the online trading card game instantly after purchasing them. They have this box, they have individual packs, they have all different types of Pokemon products that you can just get the code card for and build up your online collection. So use code Pokeboo to support the channel and also to save you some of that money. And thank you so much Potown for sponsoring my channel. You guys are the best. So getting back into this box and what the code card actually gets you, why people are so hyped about this is because primarily these Dedenes. Not only are they super adorable, it looks like the dude's just squished against the glass. So cute. <laughs> so this is just a stack of amazing, amazing cards that you get. These are all, t I'm pretty sure they're all trainer cards that you get, including boss's orders. Oh my gosh. That's an alternate artwork of Poke Gear 3.0. You got quick balls, fire crystals, rare candies. I'm pretty sure none of these are rotating out too. So these are all cards that you'll be able to use post rotation. Uh, all staple. Oh man, look at that alternate artwork of reset stamp. Wow. That is so cute. I love it. I love that art style. Oh my gosh, the Pokecom! Yes! These alternate artworks are so cute. Yeah, so these are all incredible cards that you can use in a lot of competitive Pokemon decks. Uh, and this is just an amazing product to get you started in putting uh, play sets of these into your decks. So, super awesome. That's why I recommended this product to everyone that I talked to that was like, Hey, I'm looking to get into Pokemon. I was like, yo, these come out on the 26th, pick yours up, it's gonna help you exponentially, and that is 100% true. I still stand by that. <laughs> but like I said, the main reason was these two little goobers. They're so cute! Oh my gosh, I love them! This is the alternate artwork to Dene GX. This is a staple card. It was like a $30 minimum card. Now that this box has come out and they printed a bunch more, um, I think it's dropped to like $6 or something like that, but still an incredible card that plays very well into many, many decks that you're gonna see in the meta. So look how cute. And if you guys are wondering why everybody loves this dude so much and why he was a $30 card, it is because of his ability. What it does is when you play him onto bench, you discard your hand and draw six cards. So it's a major draw support. Uh, usually people will play it when they dwindle their hand down to nothing except the Dedenne, and then they drop the Dedenne on the bench and draw a fresh six. So it is a really good way to work through your deck quickly, get the cards that you need, and pretty much just, you know, thinning is winning in Pokemon. Thinning your deck is winning. And now, unfortunately, every time I play this card, I cannot get this out of my head. Don't drop that nothing. <laughs> but anyway, he's a fantastic card, very good in uh, in decks. So I actually don't play him in very many of my decks because he scares me a lot. I don't like discarding my hands usually because I'm a hoarder. So there's that. That is what comes in that box outside of these packs. So I'm going to open the rest of the boxes now that you guys have seen everything that's inside. And we are going to open these packs up. Let's do it! Yay! Okay, Goobs, we're starting with this Unbroken Bonds pack. I'm actually going to do these four at a time still because I like to see the pull rates of each box. 
let you guys know if these are gonna be trash or not. <laughs> Many of trainers I have seen open this box and just pull all green packs, unfortunately. Oh man, dude, I haven't opened an Unbroken Bonds in a hot minute. Oh, it's nice seeing these cards again. Inkay, Caterpie, oh, look at his cute little face. <laughs> Vio Plume Reverse Hollow, and oh my god, dude. Well, scratch that about this box being trash. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Leave it to Boo. Leave it to Boo to pull one of the best cards out of an Unbroken Bonds pack. Are you kidding me? What? Oh my god. That makes me so happy. This is the first time I've pulled this card. I've never pulled this card. This is incredible. I can add my beautiful Full Art Reds challenge. Oh, it's not the Full Art Secret Rare Boss's orders, but man, this card is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Man, I can't believe that. One single pack of Unbroken Bond. Seeking Army! Yes, there we go. Yes, I forgot to mention this is Sword and Shield base set. So we're working on that Seeking Army once again. Sizzly Peed, Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, and... <laughs> Corviknight, creepy boy. <laughs> if that was the only thing I pulled, I think I would be okay with it. I think it'd be sick if we pulled something else spicy, like a uh, GX or something. Or not a GX, a V. Man, see, I opened one in Broken Bonds packs and we were like, yo, where the GX is at, bro? <laughs> oh, man. Reverse Hollow Clefairy and <gasps> Spiritomb. No, non holographic. Please don't be green pack. No! Grass Energy, Morgram, Palpitode, Coughing Boy, Bronzer, Toxel. Come on, we need that Secret Rare Boss's Order, Full Arts, Reverse Hollow Sandy Gas. <gasps> oh, no! Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> I mean, at least we got an incredible card out of the Unbroken Bonds. So, I I'll take it. We're moving on to our second box here. Let's see if we can pull some spice. Unbroken Bonds is that, um,. Secret Restroom Charizard. So, man, if I pulled, bro, if I pulled the Rainbow Charizard, that'd be so epic. <laughs> that'd be so epic. Can you imagine opening one of these trainer kits, Fireball Energy, and just having a single Unbroken Bonds pack and you pull the Secret Rare? Oh, that'd be so epic. Lynn. Froki, Reverse Hollow Oddish. Dude, look at that. Reverse Hollow to go with our Reverse Hollow Vile Plume. I love it. And <gasps> Hypno, non holographic. So that was not as good for us. That was a green pack. Uh, but let's see if we can pull some spice out of base set. Sword and Shield. I'm thinking about doing a Q&A coming up pretty soon. Uh, for my next video or next couple of videos. Uh, doing another Q&A. So if you guys have any questions you want to drop down in the comments below, uh, let me know what they are and maybe I'll include them in the video. Reverse Hollow Doug Trio and <coughs> Stone Journer non-holographic. So not good. Wow. That is two green packs. A lot of my Pokemon friends have gotten all green packs in these boxes. Fireball Energy. So I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna relive that. <laughs> this is my karma for being like, eh, you got all green bags. And it's like, oh, just kidding, boo. You got all green bags too. <laughs> Look at that cute Caterpie. Dude, watch me, watch me start a Caterpie booklet. I love the Caterpie artworks. They're so cute. Reverse Hollow Scyther. <gasps> Bear Scooter. Got my Bear Scooter. <laughs> I can't, I'm sorry. All right, so that's been all green packs so far. So this has to be a white pack, right? Right? Please? Please? Trubby, Trubby, rub the cute little Trubby and he give a good luck. <laughs> Pidove, Heliotile, Vol Voltorb. I don't know what I was about to say there. Reverse, Hollow, Curse, Shovel. <gasps> oh! oh! <laughs> Non-holographic. That means that was another green pack. So that box was all green packs, you guys. What? What? How can we go from opening a full art 
supporter to all green packs. Why? Why? Okay, last box here. <sighs> Unbroken bonds. Dude, we still have not pulled that secret rare boss's order. I always try to get my gold cards before the next set comes out, but dude. Ooh, Darkness Ablaze is like on the horizon and we still have yet to pull that secret rare boss's order, man. I'm scared. Meltan. Reverse Hall of Fairy Tar. Wow, I have like a billion of these. So that's not super hype, but I guess throwback. And <gasps> no! Non holographic sand slash. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Sword and shield base set, baby. Give me some, some sword doggo in this pack. Give me some sword doggo. Secret rare sword doggo. Come on, baby. Metal energy? Ooh, could it be? Could it be? Good luck to pull metal Pokemon? <laughs> Ponyard, Sizzly Burry, Yamper, Reverse Hollow Skull Ruby. <gasps> oh, I mean, it's still a good card. It's still a good card. Orangaroo, Reverse Hollow. Oh, not Reverse Hollow. My bad. I can't even talk today, you guys. I mean, it's a holographic. It's a white pack, but it's not at all <sighs> what I was looking for. So. Yay. <laughs> okay, you guys, two Rebel Clash packs left. Two chances to pull our gold card. <gasps> Taco always freaks out on me because I never switch it from the Japanese card. It's like still the Japanese art of it. <laughs> He's like, so boo, uh, today are we gonna have English cards on our English YouTube channel? <laughs> I'm like, nope. <laughs> Metapod, burning scarf, Magikarp, so cute, Magikarp, baby boy, milk ball, growl, the combo. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I just ruined it. Oh! <laughs> what am I doing? I was so hyped about the combo. I jinxed it. We just had a hollow Clefable. So, I mean, it's a white pack, but... <laughs> Why do you guys even watch my YouTube channel? Why? Okay, this is the last pack, my goobs. It has to be good. Fist bump energy, and it's a fist bump energy. This has to be good, right? That's math. <laughs> Surskit. Biscuit. Magikarp. Baby boy. Oh, wasn't the milk ball. Not the combo. Not the combo. Not feeling. Oh, I mean, we got a reverse hole rare, though. This Greedon, even though he's really creepy and I hate this dude so much. Also Nightmare Fuel. And... <gasps> oh, a monster! <laughs> no! Not holographic, a bomb of snow. So, okay. I mean, not the best out of our boxes, or the packs in the boxes. But, I still got at least one super super awesome card which i'm very happy with the reds challenge full art supporter okay my goobies thank you so much for watching this video stick it with me through it thank you so so much to all my patreon peeps for being there for me and supporting this channel outside of ad revenue it helps bunches and bunches so thank you for helping me uh, establish this channel and make content i appreciate you also thank you to the cute little portal for sponsoring my channel. You guys are the bomb diggity junior. Remember, code Pokeboo for 5% off any of your code cards, and that also supports the channel as well. Repping that boo pride. Have a great day or night or just week in general, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs>